Here in the UK, the construction industry remains the second most dangerous industry in which to work. In the year 2012-2013, 39 construction workers lost their lives, with nearly 2,000 receiving major injuries. Pasquil and Saint-Gobain takes employee well-being extremely seriously, encouraging all employees to understand and engage with the Target Zero policy. At Pasquil, we know that getting it right and reducing the risk for everyone can seem easy. But we also know that getting it wrong can have major implications for you, your colleagues, suppliers and customers. In this example, the truss has hit the floor with an equivalent weight of a large motor vehicle. This video will show how, by following the Pasquil safe system of work, you can ensure the security and safety of the load to avoid accidents and injury. The key to the integrity of the load is the loader, who by following the correct procedure outlined in the safe system of work, will ensure that the load is securely tied to the centre bars using new blue rope. After loading the trailer, it's important to follow the 60 second rule. Stop what you're doing and think about the potential risks and hazards, remembering to think about safe transit and unloading at a customer's site. Check that the required controls are in place by making a visual check of the trailer and the load, completing the load checklist. Is it secure? What's its height? Check its width and how much it overhangs the trailer. Check that the metalwork bags and purple slings are reachable from ground level and that the purple slings are located at lifting points on the truss pack. The driver also has an important role to play. After coupling the unit to the trailer, it's important to ensure the trailer is engaged by performing a snatch test. The driver is responsible for strapping the load with sufficient transportation ratchet straps and fitting any additional marking or light boards. Remember the legislation regarding loads that project beyond the rear of the trailer. Loads up to one meter require no additional marking but between one and two metres, the end must be made clearly visible to other road users. And between two and 3.05 metres, a light board must be attached. Any load over 3.05 metres requires that the police are notified and other measures put in place. And finally, the load width may overhang the trailer by a maximum of 305 millimetres. Any more than this also requires police notice. Before departing, the driver also needs to follow the simple 60-second rule. Stop what you're doing and think what are the potential risks and hazards. Remembering to think about safe transit and unloading at the customer site. Check that the required controls are in place. Check the vehicle. Ensure that the load is secure and complete a vehicle defect report and load checklist. Check the load height and update the board in the cab Check the load's width and length, and also that the metalwork bags and slings are reachable from ground level, and tie off the slings when necessary. Finally, use sufficient straps to secure the load, and ensure that you have all the equipment you'll require for delivery, such as PPE, cutting pole and ratchet straps. The driver should remain vigilant for low bridges and overhead obstructions. Remember the load can move in transit, and the load security should be checked at regular intervals. Always obey site rules such as speed limits, traffic routes, etc. Before releasing any part of the load, the driver must perform the 60 second rule. Stop what you're doing. Think what the potential risks and hazards are. Think about the unloading of the vehicle, the hazardous area and the personnel involved. Check that the load is still secure and that the blue restraining rope remains intact. Check that the unloading area is clear and the personnel understand how the unload will be performed. If in doubt, refer to the Pasquil's safe systems of unloading. Once the weight of the truss pack is taken by the crane or other mechanical handling equipment such as a telehandler or forklift truck, 
the driver can release the ratchet straps and from a safe distance cut the blue rope with the cutting staff. Once the trusses are placed in the truss rack, they should be secured to the rack by suitable means. This will protect personnel and product from damage. Remember, stop, think, check, prevents accidents.